The edit page is where all the synthesis in Omnisphere happens. You have the two layers and common controls. The center area is where we have layer specific controls and you can change the center area with the buttons at the bottom or by clicking the tabs at the top. We can see that the oscillator in layer A is in synth mode and the oscillator in layer B is in sample mode. We can also link the two layers and that way when we make changes on one it affects the other layer as well. The areas to the left and right of the center section affect both layers. So we have our layer mixer and we can see that a sample is loaded in layer B. Layer on off switches, pan controls, pitch controls, and there's two types of pitch controls. We have transposition and coarse tuning. And we have fine tuning controls. On the right side we have the velocity curve presets, solo and glide modes that we saw before, plus the voices octave and then also an additional patch gain control. Down here at the bottom is an expression control that allows us to turn off MIDI CC11. And here's the same part controls that we saw on the main controls page for duplicating the mixer settings. Now let's briefly go over each module in the layer. We have our oscillator where we can select synth mode or sample mode. We can change the shape and hard sync and symmetry of the waveform in real time. And we have controls for that. We also have oscillator sub pages such as FM, ring modulation, wave shaping, and the voice multiplier. And I want to point out that all of these things are polyphonic. The voice multiplier is one of the most powerful areas of Omnisphere and it has several different modes. Unison mode is one of the first where we can control the detuning in lots of different ways. And another is our unique harmonia mode. This is really cool because what it adds is four more oscillators per layer. And each of the additional oscillators has full control over level, pan, detuning, uh, interval, and then you have a second page here where you can control the shape, symmetry, and hard sync. So that gives you five independently controllable oscillators per layer times two, that's 10 oscillators per patch. Extremely powerful. When we go to sample mode, the voice multiplier has three different modes. We have unison, harmonia, and granular synthesis. And this is really cool because it takes the audio splits it up into tiny bits and we have polyphonic granular synthesis so make sure you check out the tutorial on that it's very very cool we also have some unique controls for sample mode like timbre shifting and crushing start offsets and key tracking and we have all the same fm ring modulation and wave shaping capabilities that synth oscillators do so samples can really be manipulated a great deal in omnisphere okay let's check out the filters in omnisphere now you can call up presets from this menu. So let's select something like this. And we have our basic controls of cutoff and resonance, key tracking envelope. We can also control the cutoff from left to right, which is kind of unique. Now, if we want to go deeper, there's a lot more control when we zoom in. And there's the filter zoom page, where we have full control over both filters, because it's a dual filter architecture. And you can set up different filters in each slot, decide if you want them in series or parallel, uh, adjust the gain and all sorts of offsets. So there's many different ways to create unique filter sounds using the filter zoom. So be sure to check out that tutorial. Now the envelopes in Omnisphere are unique because they have two different interfaces. An ADSR interface on the main page and when we zoom in we have a graphic interface and they interact with each other. So you make changes on one and they're reflected in the other because it's just two interfaces for the same envelope. So each layer has its own amp and filter envelopes. And then there are four modulation envelopes that are shared between the two layers. And we have the uh, chaos feature, which allows us to create all kinds of interesting shapes. You've got lots of different kinds of presets here and uh, so check out that envelope tutorial. It's very, very useful, and the envelope is extremely powerful. We've got six full-featured LFOs here, and those are shared between the two layers. And this is our modulation area where we're seeing one routing at a time. You can select different routings by this drop-down menu. And of course, you can zoom in to the modulation matrix to see all the routings at once and you can see the activity that's happening so 
another example of zooming in to get more depth. But one of the things that makes modulation easier to use in Omnisphere is something we call FlexMod, which means when we right-click on a parameter, like let's say we want to modulate this cutoff control, I'll just select Modulate with LFO, and I don't have to know what LFOs are available. It figured out that LFO5 was free, and it routed LFO5 to the cutoff. So that's a super fast overview of the edit page. Check out the section tutorials and the reference guide to learn more.